Residential versus commercial real estate. In this video, I'm gonna go over what is each residential and commercial, which one you should choose, and why and when. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm gonna share with you in this video those things. But before I get into that, I just wanna share with you, we just opened up a new program of getting huge profits in small markets that your competition is not looking for, how to buy cheap houses there, and you can click on the link below if you want more info on that. All right, cool. Now let's get into the video. So today we're gonna to talk about residential and commercial. The main problem with this topic is a lot of people get lost in the sauce and they're like, all right, do I go buy residential properties and single family homes and duplexes or do, do I go out and try to learn how to buy you know, 50 units, 100 units, commercial properties and raise money and, and do syndications and things like this? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay, just wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna explain it all. But all I'm saying is these are two different worlds of real estate and I'm gonna break down each world and I'm gonna tell you when and why you should go into them and I'm gonna give you a very simple action plan at the end of this so that if you do wanna have passive income in real estate, you know exactly what to do. Cool, so let's start with what is residential real estate? Residential real estate is basically any type of real estate that is one to four units and it also includes vacant land. One, anything that is one to four units. So you could be anything from a single family home to a duplex, to a triplex, or a fourplex. That is residential real estate. Now, what is commercial real estate? What is, what, when we talk about this, what do we mean? So really commercial real estate is anything that is five units and up, if you're talking about apartments. So five plex, six plex, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 300 units. That is all one sector of commercial real estate. There's a, a few other ones. I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna list a few here. Okay, you have storage, you have, a, you have apartment buildings, you have shopping centers, you have um, warehouse space. So, you know, you have medical buildings, you have farmland, all this is in the umbrella of commercial real estate. So as you can see, there's a lot more that you can get into in the commercial real estate world than the residential world, okay? So I just want you to keep that in mind. So, the question that we're all here today to answer is, Raul, which one is better? I want to get passive income. I want to get my foot in the door in real estate. I want to, I want passive, you know, I want cash flow every month so I can pay all my bills and I can be chill. I want to, you know, just be able to travel and have my my properties produce me enough income. Which one do I choose? And that's the golden question. But a better question to ask, in order to answer that question, I'd have to ask you the question, which is better, residential or commercial? For what purpose? And I'm going to go into this in detail. I'm going to be a little bit biased here because I do residential real estate. So we have a wholesaling business that finds off-market properties from homeowners at a discount. And we basically do single families to fourplexes. So I'm a little bit biased, but I'm gonna do the best I can to explain both sides. So let, I, the reason we say that is we follow the Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett principle in invest in what you know. However, I do know that commercial real estate has its place. I know multiple, multiple, multiple millionaires that have crushed it and killed it in commercial real estate and probably more than residential if we really look at the grand scheme of things. However, there is a time and a place for each. Let's jump in. So well, when I ask you that question, for what purpose? Let's say that you, your purpose of getting into real estate is you wanna make quick cash. So if I had to choose between residential and commercial, residential would be the, the way to go to make quick cash. Why do I say that? Well, it's a lot easier and faster to wholesale and close on a residential property than a commercial property. Commercial property has a lot more inspections, the appraisals take longer, there's different types of inspections like environmental and land and soil, depending on what you're buying. In a residential property, it's a lot quicker to close. You can close it. We've closed deals in seven days, 15 days, 20 days. So you can make quicker cash in residential. That has my vote. Quick entry. Let's say you're just get, wanting to get your foot in the door as a realtor, as a wholesaler, as an investor. What's the fastest way to, for you to get in the market and get in the game? And in that one, I'm also going to choose residential. So residential, okay, as I mentioned in the previous step, residential is very simple to get in. You can get a listing fairly quickly. You can close on it fairly quickly, get investment property pretty quickly. Commercial takes a little bit longer. All right, now what about cash flow, Raul? Cash on cash return. So if I put, you know, a, if I put $10,000 in, 
I wanna make money every month, cash flow, which one is the best? So you're not gonna like my answer, but my answer is both, okay? Both have its great cash flows. There's, we do some niches in the single family space that I show my students how we do that, but we do some niches in the space that we make 20, 30, 40% returns on our, on our investment here. And in the commercial, you could also do that. What I like about commercial is that the money is bigger. So per house, if you make $400 a month on the residential side, commercial, if you get a you know, 30, 40 unit building, you know, you're gonna make maybe three or four or $5,000 a month. So obviously this is a lot more exciting. There's a lot more money needed to get in here. But if you wanna just purely go for cash flow, really both have its, both have its benefits, its pros and cons. Now what about equity? Well, I wanna have equity, I wanna have a huge net worth in the future. You know, I wanna be worth 50 million, 100 million, 300 million, a billion dollars. Which one's better for net worth? That one, I would say commercial real estate has my vote. Now, if you buy a 100 unit property and you pay, you know, 30 million bucks for it or 50 million bucks, if it goes up in value by 10%, well, you just went up a ton of money as if you bought a $100,000 house and it went up 20%, you went up 20K, this one you went up a lot. So meaning your net worth is way more. This one went up 10 million, this one went up 20,000. As you can see, your net worth can grow substantially with commercial properties. All right, what about long-term wealth, Raul? Well, with long-term wealth, you know, which one would you choose, residential or commercial, for long-term generational wealth? Well, this one was tough for me because I, obviously I'm a little biased, but I have to be real and I have to say commercial real estate has my vote here. Commercial real estate has my vote here because this is something that if you buy a 20, 30, 40, 50 unit building, it kind of just sits there. It's got one roof. It's got, uh, you can get one property manager for the whole thing. If it gets passed down to generation, right? Generational wealth, meaning someone passes away, their kids get it or, you know, spouses or whatever. And now they have to manage it. It's their problem. It's a lot more challenging to manage 50 single family homes all over the place than a 50 unit building. So I think for long term wealth, um, the easiest to always collect rent and the easiest to manage would be a, a building, a commercial building. So commercial real estate got my vote on that one. All right, what about safety? Raul, I'm like, I don't like to take too much risks. I like to invest my money and be safe and have like a good safe asset. And this one, I love this question. And the one, the winner that gets my vote here is residential real estate. And the reason is it's a lot more liquid. What do I mean by that? So you buy this $100,000 house, it's worth 150, it rents for $1,000 a month, great. Well, let's say you get in a cash crunch, okay? There's a health crisis in your family, you know, knock on wood, right? There's, you need the cash for something. Okay, you, you know, maybe your husband, your wife need some money, your kids need, need to pay for school, yeah, there's a wedding, whatever. A single family home is a lot more liquid, meaning you put it on the market and you can sell it and close in 15, 20, 30 days. So it's a lot safer to get your money back out. In commercial real estate, you can't really do that. I mean, yeah, technically, can you close in 15, 20, 30 days in commercial real estate? Yes, but it's very, 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 very uncommon. So residential real estate has my vote on that one. All in all, there's no real winner. It really depends on what you're looking for and your model, how much money uh, you have set aside to do this. If you wanna spend your time raising money to buy big projects, or if you wanna spend your time buying a bunch of little projects and, and doing that. So. There's no right or wrong answer here. I'm biased, I'm residential real estate all the way. Will I eventually own commercial properties? Hell yeah. However, on my road together, you best believe I'm gonna become very wealthy with residential real estate. So if you wanna follow my journey, keep watching, click this like, the bell, subscribe, and if you wanna check out some more free stuff, you can go to raulbalufa.com, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.